All right, so this is a connector for a Mitsubishi. I believe it's for the ECU and it's for a 2G DSM or maybe even an Evo. I'm not actually sure which one, I just kind of pulled it out of my bucket of connectors. But what I'm gonna show you is how to pull the wires out of the back of it. So first thing you wanna do is pop a flat screwdriver on each side of this and you can then roll this thing down. So you can see on each end of it, there's a little, a little uh, circle thing that it pops into. So with that out of the way, now you have access to the back of the wires. So what we'll do next is we want to slide something in the front to release the clip that holds the wires. And the way that I do this is I take a hair clip that you can get at any, uh, any sort of store, grocery store or whatever, and what I do is I cut the little rubber ends off and I give it a little bend. And in this case, what we'll do is we'll make sure the bend is facing downward and I'll put it in like this. And as soon as you push it in, you can pull the pin right out. And then to slide it back in, you just pop it in and it's now locked into place. And then you can fold this thing back down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this open and I'm gonna show you exactly what's inside and what you're doing with this uh, hairpin so you can see actually how it works. All right, let's cut it open. With the connector chopped open, you can see that there's a, a pin here and a pin here that will hold these wires in place. They lock them in place so you can't pull them back out. So what you're trying to do with the hair clip is come in here like this and push this little yellow tab upward like so and then you can pull the wiring out so we'll see it in action now it's locked in now we can do the same to the top one we'll get the hair clip right inside here it's a little difficult because it's a cut up connector But you push the little tab up and then you can slide the wiring right out and then pushing right back in locks it in place and then if you want to keep the wires in place then you roll these back tabs back down and then you're in business so now you can swap around your wires successfully hopefully this video helped you out if it did be sure to subscribe and maybe even share it with a friend see you next time